Sur Futur Africa, euh, un exemple très particulier de développement, il s'agit d'un État, du Rwanda. Nous sommes dans l'Afrique du centre et de l'Est. Euh, et euh, l'exemple le, de la croissance du Rwanda démontre euh, que certaines méthodes permettent en effet euh, de doper le développement euh, d'un pays. Nous allons l'évoquer maintenant avec Winifred Gangouré. Thank you, merci madame you. Euh, pour votre présence sur euh, ce blog Futur Africa. I would like to introduce you about uh, uh, the growth, uh, the success growth of, of Rwanda. First question, how do you explain this success? I actually explain the success of Rwanda being backed by and being facilitated by the leadership of Rwanda that is visionary, committed and determined, determined in terms of achieving a very inclusive uh, growth of the population of the Rwandans and actually at large Africa. So what kind of uh, investment opportunity did you develop uh, to, to help your growth in, in, uh, in Rwanda? So uh, behind the growth of Rwanda is a huge investment in the ICT infrastructure. So we have uh, with the investment from the government, we have a fiber optic of uh, more than 4,500 4, kilometers around the country. And this is mainly to imp improve and to encourage uh, internet access around the country, internet access, internet service around the country. So there's a fiber optic infrastructure laid around the country. There's also an investment in our national carrier, the Rwanda Air, because Rwanda is a landlocked country now the only option we are left with is, you know, using the railway, railway construction, and also uh, getting access and getting connected to the rest of the world through the Rwanda Air. And we are fully involved and indulged in the open air policy, and open air strategy, and the investment has a huge investment has been done uh, in our Rwanda Air. Uh, we are now opening uh, flights to Mumbai. Those are our new flights, Mumbai to London, and many more are coming up. And basically the whole strategy is to open up to the rest of, uh, of the world. Yeah. So, so uh, in conclusion, mm -hmm. uh, what did you expect of uh, this session, this uh, fifth uh, forum, uh, International Africa Development, and, and why was it important for you to, to be here? Um, our expectation, and as part of my role in the Rwanda Development Board, is to have a number of investors who would come to invest in uh, investment projects or investment opportunities that we have. So we are here to promote investment opportunities in the manufacturing sector. So uh, manufacturing construction materials, manufacturing in pharmaceutical products, manufacturing in packaging, paper packaging materials, manufacturing in textile and garment, because we are aware that the conference is bringing 30 other African countries and we believe that regional integration, investment within the continent is, 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 is key to the development of, of, of Rwanda. We also have opportunities in the tourism sector. Our Lake Kivu is known for ga methane gas, but we actually have other opportunities of developing tourism products around our Lake Kivu as well. Another opportunity that we're promoting here today is uh, in affordable housing, because we've noticed that um, in Morocco, particularly, we've achieved a lot in terms of having affordable housing, uh, houses for the community, and we're really interested in having similar companies come and invest in Rwanda. So we take this as a very good opportunity for us, and we really came here for us to actually get investors who would come and invest back home in Rwanda in the different uh, areas that are available for an investment opportunity. And we really thank uh, the organizers of the event at Jijuarafa to invite us to this event because uh, it has really given us an opportunity to do that. Yeah. Rwanda is a real nice uh, example of development. We will uh, follow it uh, on Future Africa on this blog. Thank you uh, to be thank here. You too. Uh, to Today. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, madam. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Yes.